At this 14-storey tall farm on the outskirts of Copenhagen, you'll find everything from lettuce to kale and thyme growing vertically. After three years in business, Nordic Harvest Farm is now looking to expand its output and production. So right now we are planning to expand in Germany, Norway and Sweden over the next uh, three years. Anders Ryman is the founder and CEO of Nordic Harvest. Before this venture, he was a business analyst at a shipping company and also worked at a bank. I was frustrated that uh, traditional agriculture practices did not cater for using lesser space than we do today. So uh, after uh, a lot of thinking, I found out that um, maybe vertical farming would be able to produce much more food on a optimized space inside cities without use of pesticides and to cater for agriculture land to be converted back into their original state, namely forests. Nordic Harvest was established in 2020. This 75,000 square foot warehouse opened a year later. During that time, the company has experimented with different seeds to improve their yield, tweaking what they grow and the settings for the plants to grow in. What we discovered in the last three years is that it's actually much more difficult to grow plants in uh, such or in this environment than uh, we uh, expected. When you grow in a laboratory, it's a completely different story from when you grow in an actual production facility. Some plants now have a yield several times greater than when the company first started production. For example, they can harvest certain types of lettuce 30 times a year. Nordic Harvest is now looking into the possibility of recycling the roots from their produce. In terms of possibilities developing the business when you have a production facility like ours, then there will be tons of uh, opportunities to uh, uh, dig within the circular economy. So for instance, we, when we harvest, we have lean roots, which we can either ferment and put in our fertilizer, or maybe we can use them as medium to grow mushrooms or other things. So we are investigating this a bit.